Alabama. I got my moo moo on today. Cause I'm not leaving the house. I'm not leaving the house. Cause the daddy is gone with the kids. And it's just me and the littles. And I'm about to make some tacos. I'm about to make some tacos. I'm about to make some tacos. Assalamualaikum Alabama. Today I am at home with my two littles and I am going to make some raw vegan tacos. Now I know what you're saying, it doesn't even sound good. It probably tastes like dried carrots and straw, but they are delicious and I'm going to show you how I make them. Mashallah. Y'all look at my sprouts. These are organic chickpeas that I sprouted and they've been sprouting for like two days. Alhamdulillah. And these are um, buckwheat groats. You can see the little sprouts there coming. Mashallah. And these ones are just black lentils. And those are really taking off. Look at the sprouts even sticking out at the top. Mashallah. It's beautiful. And when you sprout your greens and your legumes and beans and stuff, you like quadruple the nutrition. So, Mashallah. Just something to think about. These are the sprouted lentils and I just have them in the food processor and I'm going to blend them up a little bit so they can get um, into smaller chunks. And these are just some sun-dried tomatoes. Most of the sun-dried tomatoes in the grocery stores um, have been chemically dried. So these were dried naturally in the sun and they still have all their enzymes and nutrients intact. And here I added some of those um, sprouted buckwheat groats to the sprouted lentils with all my seasonings and I'm just going to pulse them. This is mushrooms. So they're going to go in here too. And this last one is dates um, and orange pepper and some sun-dried tomatoes you could just use a pack of taco seasoning it's up to you but this smells so good and i'm just gonna mix it all together incorporate it and then put it into my uh, romaine leaves <laughs> say this too with these um spotted chickpeas yeah we got barred windows y'all we stay in the hood stop molly we stay in the hood we got barred windows but um just these are going to take longer to be edible because they're going to be uh softer they're going to need to get softer they're hard right now still so i just have um cheesecloth and i just rinse these and um you just put them at an angle like this so they can drain and that's how they sprout so. And here is the end result of my raw vegan taco meat. So, it's not ground beef, y'all, but you know, for it to be raw vegan, I think that's darn close. These on point. I did. You take my green noodles. I did. You take my green noodles. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I lost the olives. Y'all, baby, these are so good. Molly has eaten all my olives off of this one. Basically, but the texture. Stop. Oh. Hi. Hmm. Hi. Hi. Bite it. Anyway, the texture is 
just like this is a meaty texture it's really rich and hearty i have had these before with um walnuts soaked walnuts and mushrooms and i much more prefer them with the sprouted um buckwheat groats and lentils like took it to a whole other level oh i'm the taco so try them taco those tacos were busted and if you are wondering why i'm so lipalicious today it's because i'm wearing my absolute favorite lip gloss by shayla gloss is that the right way shayla gloss and i'm not a fan of lip gloss i've never really worn lip gloss but i need it now i know i do um I hate chapstick because you get that little white, flaky, dry chap stuff in the corners of your mouth and you look crackish. So, I found out the sister made this halal gloss and I ordered one of these. And now I have eight. So, super velvety, just like great texture, not sticky at all, doesn't have a gross taste, not all over my teeth and my tongue. But the Besides the texture, the best thing I like about this is the fragrance. I love floral scents. And this has a really gentle, like almost, like a, a mix between jasmine and rose fragrance to it. So check her out, Shayla Gloss. And she's at um, Shayla.Gloss on Instagram and also on Facebook. This is um, a prey garment that I got from Rose Flair. She's Rose Flair on Facebook and then I think on um, Instagram and I think Etsy. She has an Etsy shop too. She is... Shut up! Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, she's Rose Flair on Facebook and then on Instagram and her Etsy shop, she is Serene Boutique. So love her, love her stuff. Check her out. And we're out.